If anybody that knows anything about Philadelphia, um, you know, it's a second home to me. The fans, they're a great, great, fantastic city. And again, I'm a reporter. I'm not here to be liked. So I could give, I could give two cents about somebody booing me. As far as I'm concerned, it's a form of love. Exactly. But let me say this. Yes. Allen Iverson, it was special. And I thank you, my man, for, mm. for inviting me to be there. Love that brother. Mm. What he did, having his jersey retired, it, he's worthy of it. I told him when he announced his retirement months ago, he was like, where were you? I said, I ain't showing up for but two things. When your jersey gets retired and hung into the rafters and when you are inducted as a first ballot Hall of Famer, one of the greatest little men that ever played this game, one of the greatest warriors to ever play this game. And no matter what anybody wants to say about him, I'm going to say it again. I don't believe that I'm sitting here today if it were not for my years a covering that brother. He gave me some of the greatest moments that I've ever experienced in my professional career, and I was honored to be in his presence for a well-deserved mm -hmm. honor. He deserves it. Love you, bro. I hear everything you just said. Th this was the greatest inch-for-inch inch player that I ever watched, <laughs> biggest heart I ever watched in a little player, a sub. It, it, can we give him six feet or 5'11"? What do six you think? Feet. Six, six feet. Six feet. feet, 165. Okay. But there was, from a distance, an element of sadness last night mm. over what could have been and maybe could have continued to be. Because his last decent year, he was 32 years of age in Denver. That could have gone on, long, you know, his, his litany of problems off the court better than anybody does. Mm. And, and it could have, he could have made it last longer. And I think there was some sadness in Allen last night, too. Um, I think, that, to be honest with you, Skip, I don't believe that anymore. There was once, there was sadness a year ago. There was sadness two years ago. But watching him there, I think the moment that the Sixers organization, they did a first-class job, flew Pat, uh, Pat Croce mm. in from Cuba, mm. okay? I mean, uh, you know, Aaron McKee was there, Moses, Dr. J, all of these boys were there. Everybody was in attendance. Theo Ratliff, it was mm. special. The Kemba Mutombo, it was special. Mm. But I think when you go out there in that moment, it wasn't an empty seat in the house. And for them to pack that house and to celebrate the way that they did, I think that's the moment that he needed and that's and, and, that's all they have to cheer about right now yeah, right but a bit, it is the highlight had to cheer right about, about that. that's all they had to cheer about and it was good for them they made money no doubt but again Allen Iverson he just wanted to be recognized for what he gave and the fact that they did what they did for him I think he's okay I really really do he looks good yeah he's getting better and better and he's got, and I'm unapologetic. Uh, I, I'm not just a reporter. I mean, he ain't playing anymore. That's my man. That's the, your man. He's a friend.